Hi, I'm Alan and today I'm going to show you how to use macro recording in Modo. So, what is macro recording? Macro recording is a features that allow you to simply record your action and then save them as a macro that you can replay at any time. I have an example here that will better demonstrate what are macro recording and what are the benefits. Oftentimes, we encounter projects that build in certain features of the model have to be repeated several times. It's time consuming, tedious and sometimes boring. A good demonstration here is a simple building I have loaded. A reference picture that have a single type of window. This is a perfect sample where macro recording is best used. So let's begin. I have created here a simple plane and extruded them in rows that best match my reference and subdivided them in columns with the same width. Each polish here will represent window opening, window frame and the glass. So to start building the first window, select one mesh just on the top right mouse section of the wall. Though it's not necessary to be on that spot, you can create your first row, I mean first window anywhere you are comfortable with. In my case, I'd like to start here. Before doing that, uh, you have to select System, Record Macro, and press Yes. This is where you start recording your process. Uh, and this uh, building process, I'm selecting the bevel tool. So, I'm building now a single section of the window. Bevel here. Bevel twice. Bevel the third time. Until I get the desired result I want. Now, I'm going to drop the tool by pressing spacebar. Now I don't have the command tool and it's now time uh, to stop recording uh, the process. So system, then uncheck the recording macro. That will stop recording all your actions in your 3D program. Okay. Now you can test the macro recording by selecting one poly that you want to run the same process as what we did in the Windows creation. Simple, isn't it? Now try to select one and then press system then press replay. You see it's just repeated what we did in the first window. So you save a lot of time. So now uh, try to select all the polys you want the windows to be created. So I'm going to select here, this one, all the faces on this row, on the second row, and on the third row. And now again hit system and replay. There you go. It's simple, fast, and saves you a lot of time creating an object with a repetitive design. You can apply the technique in a different projects like egg tray, tire thread, or whatever design is identical. You can even save the macro you just created and name it according to your needs for your future use by uh, pressing the system and store in configuration. You can name it like for example window type 1 and put a description like 